How is everybody doing? Coming to you on the river again. I got my dad right down here. And I'm going to be throwing top water. Whopper ploppers. I got I finally got a proper musky setup. It's one of it's a uh, Shimano Sojourn so far. It's worked fine for me. And I have 80 pound braid, so I can properly take care of business if a big one hits. So I got the big net too. My other net broke unfortunately, so I need a new one, but for now this one's gonna have to work. But that's what I'm gonna be throwing. I also have my smaller rod with the smaller size whopper plopper be throwing that too so we'll see but in these there's two big stretches that are pretty deep i'm thinking eight to ten feet deep and that's where i'm going to be throwing the musky bait because i i know they're in there it's just whether they're going to bite you know how musky fishing goes so but if not in the other stretches and stuff i'm going to throw the smaller ones and maybe i'll catch some smallmouth bass so stay tuned This is the part, it's a little sketchy guys. Little sketchy. Where I usually get what? <laughs> Woo, there we go, what again? Ain't as bad as last week. Well, I still got white water. <sighs> Pulled me down, that's for sure. All right guys, I've been casting that big lure two and a half hours, didn't get a bite. That's musky fishing, but I'm gonna put a smaller whopper plopper on my smaller rod, that rod right there. And hopefully we can get some bass to blow up at least, get some action, so. I'm gonna throw the big one too. We got another pretty good size stretch on the river here, so once we get in that deep, deep water again I'll throw it again but until then I'm gonna throw a smaller whopper plopper so we'll see what happens oh, 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 oh. Got one, guys. Do you see that one? It hit three times. Oh, it's a nice one, guys. Oh, that's what we're after. Triple hit. <laughs> there we go. One thing I like these whopper poppers, those hooks. When you do hook them, they easily don't get off. But there we go. He hit three times, he wanted it. Sweet. Mm. 
Right there, guys. I saw that. <laughs> that fish came out of nowhere. I'm gonna go over to the shallow water. <laughs> that fish came up and hammered it right next to the kayak. That was pretty cool. I have to say. It's pretty cool. Big or small. When they're hitting top water, it's fun. There we go, guys. Not a bad one. Boat side strike. Bronze back. They are aggressive little fish, even the little ones. There we go. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Guys, did you see that? I hope it bites again. Wow guys, what a, that was a big bass. Came airborne, completely missed my lure. Good one. Nice fish. Is that decent fish? Eh, not that big. Small mouth. There you go guys. That one hit it pretty hard. Yeah. That's a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good bass. And I'm gonna have to go try and kayak. It's like a three pounder, guys. It's a nice river bass. Really nice bass. Okay, guys. Fast water, my kayak's going down crack. <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. As you guys saw, that thing hit three times too until it finally took it. Yeah. In that skinny water. Here you go, guys. Nice fish, guys. Whopper plopping. Gotta love it. In that quick water. Beautiful fish. There he goes.
Holy! <clears> hey <throat> guys, that is going to be it. That's some pretty decent smallmouth hitting top water there, and unfortunately the musky bite was non-existent today. But that's about three or four trips for me, and I've got zero bites. But that's how it goes. Just gonna have to keep trying. One of these days you'll get a video on a novel musky. But anyways, appreciate everybody who follows and watches me. Thank you. Till next time, keep reeling them in. Thanks for watching.